Hey guys, it's Carter. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. Now in today's video, we are going to be talking about the top six ETFs you need for 2024. Now, all these are going to be absolutely fantastic. We're going to be talking about growth, dividends, everything. So I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you guys do, hit that like button, subscribe. And if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Carter. I've been a full-time trader in the stock market, and we talk about everything money on this channel. Stocks, money management, trading, investing. So subscribe, join the team. And if you guys want to learn more about trading in the stock market, I do have an amazing school where we talk about my strategy how I find stocks. It's literally a one-stop shop for all of your swing trading and investing needs. I'll put it down below. I highly recommend it. You guys can use code YouTube, get 20% off. But guys, let's dive into this. Let's go. All right. So before we talk about the top six ETFs, first, we need to understand what an ETF is. Well, in simple terms, an ETF is a pool of different companies together. The reason why I love ETFs is because you can get diversification, you can get great growth, you can get dividends, and you can can invest into thousands of, of companies for literally a fraction of the cost and still get the same growth. So now let's dive into ETF number one. ETF number one is the one, the only VU. This is Vanguard's S&P 500 ETF. Now, the reason why this is number one is because this is where I want to see you guys invest as much money as you can. That's what I recommend. That's what I do. And the reason why is the S&P 500 represents the top 500 companies in the United States. It's led by Apple, but it has over 500 holdings. It has companies like Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, all the companies you and I use probably every single day. And through all the ups, through all the downs, the Great Depression, the dot-com bubble, it's had an average return rate of about 10%. So if you're looking for a solid long-term investment that you don't have to manage or watch, VU would definitely be very, very high up on that list. Now, in the past five years, we've seen a 72% growth. On top of that, you get dividends. Dividends is when a company makes so much money, they pay their investors. And the dividend for VU is near and around 1.4%. So for every $10,000 you have invested, that's about $143 in free cash flow that you can use. Now, obviously starting out, another little tip and thing that I would recommend doing, the dividends you get, reinvest them back into this ETF. Look at this chart. You know, using DRIP, which is dividend reinvesting, you guys can clearly see the difference between reinvesting your dividends and not reinvesting your dividends for the long run. So, biggest tip reinvest those dividends and just sit back, relax, and then just invest. All right, ETF number two is ticker symbol QQQ. This is a NASDAQ tech ETF. Now, this one here historically has outperformed the SP 500. Now, the issue with QQQ is it's gonna be a little more volatile than the S&P 500, meaning it's gonna go up and down at a little more of a rapid rate, as well as it doesn't pay as much in dividends, but guys, the growth is absolutely fantastic. In the past five years, we've seen a growth of over 149%, and the thing about this is tech isn't going anywhere. If anything, we're only gonna get more and more reliable on technology. You know, we see companies in here like Microsoft, NVIDIA, Amazon, all the tech icons, pretty much of America, just because technology, in my opinion, is fantastic. A lot of analysts are giving tech and artificial intelligence a growth of near and around 38%. So this ETF is heavily invested into those same companies. This one here does pay a small dividend. It's under 1%. So this one, expect a little more growth and not as much cash flow, but it's still fun ETF to get a little more growth out of rather than dividends. All right, moving on to ETF number three. ETF number three for me, before we jump into that, hit that like button and subscribe. Like and subscribe right now. And if you guys are looking to find a broker, make sure you guys sign up with Moomoo. They're absolutely fantastic to invest into all these ETFs. I'll put them down below, check them out. All right, but ETF number three is ticker symbol VTI. This is a total stock market ETF. Now, this one here pretty much invests into almost every single company in the stock market, which is incredible. It has over 3,700 companies in it. Now, we definitely do see all those same companies that are in the S&P 500, obviously, into this ETF. You see companies like Apple, Microsoft, and all those American icons that we love, but there's still over 3,000 holdings. So if you're looking to be 
diversified and still get some growth and some dividends, this is an absolute fantastic one. In the past five years, we've seen a growth near and around 72%, which is pretty strong, plus a dividend near and around 1.4. So for every $10,000 you have invested, expect to get $142 in cash flow of dividends. This one here, pretty much like I said, is the total stock market ETF. So it tracks over 3,000 companies all in a very, very affordable ETF. All right, moving on to ETF number four. ETF number four for me is ticker symbol SCHD. This is Charles Schwab's dividend ETF. So this one here seeks out the top paying dividend companies. Now, this one here expect a little less growth, but more cash flow. The dividend yield is over 3%. So for every $10,000 you have invested, expect to get near and around about $300 in cash flow per year for every 10,000, which actually is really, really strong comparing to all the other ETFs that we talked about today. Now we have seen great growth as you guys can see, but this one here, like I said, it seeks out dividend stocks. So we'll see companies like Coca-Cola, Johnson & Johnson, Home Depot, companies that are a little more value rather than growth. So they're more blue chip companies that have been around the block for a long time, you know, but companies that are increasing those dividends and so expect cash flow that can start paying your bills or just reinvest them back into this. SCHD is obviously in my portfolio and one that I do recommend. All right, so stock number five is ticker symbol VXUS. Now this is the foreign stock market. So pretty much tracks over 8,000 companies, which is absolutely insane. The great thing about this is being diversified, being in other investments. Now, you never wanna keep all of your eggs in one basket. So this is a fun way to invest into over 8,000 companies and expect still pretty solid growth and some dividends. The dividend yield for this one is near and around 3%, so very similar to that dividend ETF. But this one here in the the past five years, we've only seen a growth rate near and around 9%. So the great thing about this is expect a little less volatility. So maybe you're looking to possibly retire soon. This one here will kind of stabilize your portfolio as well as getting great cash flow. This is a fun one, but being diversified in over 8,000 companies is a very solid way to get diversified, still get some decent growth at about 9% in the past five years and some pretty solid dividends. Alrighty, so the last ETF that we are talking about today, before we jump into that, hit that like button right now. Like and subscribe. Like for that YouTube algorithm so you guys can see me again. So, all right, let's move on to ETF number six. All right, moving on to the last one here is ticker symbol XLRE. This is the real estate ETF. The great thing about this one here is it's like pretty much investing into real estate, but for half the cost. A lot of people think you need thousands of dollars to invest in real estate, but that's not the case. This ETF, the companies in here seek out real estate. And the great thing about these is most of them are REITs, which are real estate ETFs. So the cool thing is by law, they have to pay investors about 90%, 90 percent of all the revenue they get in dividends. So getting great dividends. The dividend yield for this one is absolutely awesome. Near and around 3.3%. So for every 10,000, $330 in cash flow. And in the past five years, we've seen a growth near and around 9%. But the thing about real estate is real estate doesn't grow as much as like the S&P 500 or just the total stock market. And just because real estate doesn't grow that much, two, three, 4% per year, you know, on a good year. And lately we've seen very, very high inflation. We've seen high interest rates, which have kind of always stunt real estate, you know, causing a lot of people not to invest in real estate. But overall, investing into all these ETFs are fantastic ways to get diversification, get some growth, and, and honestly, just start pumping your portfolio with different things. In my opinion, that's awesome. And guys, all this is just my opinion, you know, so do your own research before you guys invest. This is just what I do in the top six I recommend. So I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you guys did, hit that like button and subscribe, and we'll see you guys tomorrow in the next one. Take care.